Hello guys, welcome once again to my channel Geese of Knowledge and today in this video I will be showing you how you can create or take backup of your database using Java program. So let's get started. अगर आपने Geese of को अभी तक subscribe नहीं किया है तो channel को करें subscribe और साथ ही साथ दबाएं bell का icon जिससे मैं जब भी नया video डालूं आपको notification मिलती रहे. I will be showing you here. On my test project, you can see here I am using my test project and I'll just create a new frame here, naming it as backup. <clears throat> you can name it anything you want. Now I will be using a text field here. This text field will be used to show the path where you want to save the file, where you want to save file and here I will be using one button actually two button I will be using one will be for loading the file chooser and selecting the location where, where I want to save the file so here I have named as browse and this will be named as backup you can see here now what I have to do is I will have to just go to browse button and you can see just a sec um, so I am here now here I will be writing the code to open the file chooser before that I will be declaring the variables as global variables name as string location equals to null and string file name okay guys so here what I have to do is I have to load new file chooser here equals to path equals to new j file chooser okay guys so here it's giving me error because I have not load any library for file chooser so what I have to do is just click here on the bulb button to see here just click on here you, it will give you suggestion to import the file chooser library so when I click here error is gone because the library is imported here you can see so now what I have to do is I'll just write here, write here as path dot show open dialog box and here I will write this because now I'm using it in this function only now I'll create a try catch block function here exception p and here I'll write j option pane dot show message dialog here I'll write null and here is not required so I'll just clear this and now I'll code inside the try block so what I have to do is here like file f equals to fc or whatever like whatever in the part dot get selected file and here I'll write location equals to f dot get absolute absolute path and here I'll just write location Sorry, file name equals 
to location plus I want to save the, the file with date as well as so I'll just write here as new date here dot sql Here I'm writing the extension to be saved as a dot SQL. You want if you want to save it as dot db, you can do that also. Now what I have to do is it's giving me error, so I'll just import import the file library also. And error is gone. I think I have to import date also. Now I'll just import this, and the error is gone. You can see here. So what I have to do now is just save this file name on the text field that is jtx field one dot set text and here I'll just write the file name here. So I'll just run it and show you. So guys, browse button and the file chooser is coming and if I want to save it here as backup plus so I'll just open this and you can see here the date it's coming here but I don't want to use this format of date so what I'll do is I have to format the date so I'll do one thing I'll just create a variable name as date and inside that I'll just format the date new simple date format and here I'll write the format like yyy that is year month and date okay dot dot Comment and set this. I'll write new date. Showing an error. I think I have to import library for simple date format also. So it's working. All these libraries are predefined. That's why it's showing suggestions to you. So instead of this, I will write date here. Okay, guys. So I'll just run it and show you. Browse button and if I want to save it here on desktop. I'm naming it as backup plus or whatever you want to save it as. You can see here the date has been formatted according to my given format. So in this way you have to do this now I think Java will not accept this kind of slash backslashes so I think I have to replace these also so what I'll do is I'll just write here location equals to location dot creep Please <clears throat> So now I will be writing the code for backup button I just go to the backup action perform you can see here now I will be writing the code. Please look it carefully. Process. So guys, before moving further, I just want to tell you, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video because I'm making it for you for free. And if you have any query or whatever problem you're facing, just comment down below the video or you can message me on my Facebook page.
Ok guys, so let's move further. So I'll just say that this is no, 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 I didn't see it. I'll see it. Try catch block. Try catch block. And you can see here. Uh, I'll just write exception. E. And I'll just copy this. I'll just paste it here and now I'll write the code inside the try block what I have to write is run time run time or whatever you want to write you can write run time run time dot get run time you can see here and then here I'll just write p equals to run time dot execute. I want to execute the location. I'll just show you. Just go to your SQL folder, server bin folder. Just copy this path and just paste it here. And just replace all these backslashes to. Slashes like this and after this you have to just write the file name of this like sql dump i'll just go to the file name and paste it here dot exe and after that i will be writing the username and password which i'm using you can see here like i'm using minus and dash to the username is dash uh, sorry the username is root and the password is a after that i will be writing add drop data base minus b test or whatever the name of your Database is I'll just show you my a u Gaurav. I can Gaurav is my database name and show tables. So G1 is the name of table. I'll just show you your I have to write the name of the database and database means borrow and after this you have to write minus r that is readable plus the file name because I want to save this file there ok so I just give me an error let me check I don't know that's 
move further then we will look into it now i will be writing in the process complete equals to p dot wait for here i'll write a condition if PROS complete equal equals to zero then show me a message that is that cup created if condition is not true then it show me an error it should show me an error so I just write it here error now let's look into this why right. it's giving me an error I don't understand this I think zero two times two because it's remote I'm using backslash again that's why it's giving me error so now the error is gone and here I'll just write the file name so you can see here now we are done and I will be running this frame and will show you run file and I will just minimize all this and I will click on browse button text stop and I will just write it here as backup plus or whatever you want to name it as abc whatever and I click on open button and when I click on backup button you can see a backup created and a file has been created with the name abc date and dot spl file if i close this there is no issue and i'll just open this and show you the file has been created and you can see here the code of the of the table and everything is here if you have inserted anything all that code will appear here and you can load it on your SPL file again SPL database again so that's all for today and in the next video most probably uh, in the next video I will be showing you how to load any SPL file using Java so that's all for today thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching this video and bye for now.